Chinese authorities have arrested Washington State Senator Jeff Wilson, a Republican, for arriving with his gun in his luggage at Hong Kong International Airport Friday night. How the hell did this happen? Before I jump into this crazy scenario, I want to thank the sponsor of the video, and that's CMMG. I literally just got back from a trip to CMMG where myself and several other creators got to play with some new stuff that's coming out soon. You know how YouTube works, but I will say that it is a descent and it rhymes with 762. Check it out. And uh, as always, when you use my code over there, you know how to find them. GNG10 will save you big, and you'll also get a mystery box if you order before December 20th. My uh, CMMG mystery box came with a shirt and some magazines and some parts, and you can learn more about it at their place where you know how to find them. Thanks to CMMG for being awesome friends to myself and my family. Guys, this is Guns and Gadgets, the supreme source for Second Amendment news. Supreme, since we're talking about supreme leaders in different countries who want to arrest people for having things. And in this case, we're talking about a gun in your luggage. According to a statement on Wilson's website, the state senator didn't realize that he had a pistol in his carry-on bag. Yeah, that happens to me all the time. Now, this gun made it through a security checkpoint, that's called the TSA, <laughs> yeah, at the Portland International Airport before he transferred in San Francisco and finally flew over the Pacific and made it to Hong Kong. Now, State Senator Wilson said he didn't realize that his revolver was in his briefcase when he passed through airport security in Portland. And baggage screeners also failed to notice a revolver in his bag. I'm so glad we spend billions of dollars on that system to keep us safe. The state senator then discovered the weapon mid-flight between San Francisco and Hong Kong when he reached into his bag for a piece of gum. He then felt his unloaded revolver inside, and you can imagine panic probably ensued within his mind. When the plane landed, he immediately went to a customs official and called their attention to the issue. Wilson noted that his gun is properly registered in Washington State and that he holds a concealed pistol permit. However, that don't matter in Hong Kong, y'all. He was charged with possession of an unregistered firearm and was released Sunday after posting bail. He faces a hearing on October 30th and has been forced to surrender his passport. If convicted, the state senator could face a fine of $12,800 and up to 14 years in prison. Although, from what I've read, the judges there reportedly rarely impose more than two years for this type of instance, but he's facing some difficulty as it is. What did the state senator say? Well, he's obviously trying to distance himself from this, uh, but in on his website there was a statement and he said, quote, It was an honest mistake, and I expect the situation to be resolved shortly. Yeah, let's talk about that shortly part in a moment. The U.S. Transportation Security Administration, that's the TSA, they're investigating the incident in Portland as Wilson faces charges overseas. And let's get back to that shortly part. Guys and gals, here's where I love talking to you guys and love reading the comments. If you or I put a pistol in our luggage and went to a TSA checkpoint, what do you think would happen to us? What do you think would happen if somehow it got through TSA and we flew to a different country toting our pistol in our briefcase. Would it be resolved shortly for us? Probably not. We'd probably be breaking rocks overseas at a, uh, a prison like Leavenworth here. Um, let me know what you guys and gals think down below. I personally think that if he gets off scot-free, it's because he's a politician. And that's the only reason why. You've seen several politicians recently, uh, Madison Cawthorn did it twice, try to bring his gun on a plane because he just forgot he had a pistol in his carry-on. Guys, I've been carrying guns for over 30 freaking years, and I've been flying everywhere constantly for almost a decade now, and I've never once forgot a gun in my bag or a piece of ammunition in my, in my baggage or anything like that. I go through it like a crazed lunatic when I'm packing. Am I the only one? I guess that's my question. Am I the only one? Have you been in this scenario? What do you think about this politician, do you think he's going to get off light? And what do you think would happen to you or I? If you're somebody who happens to have traveled to Hong Kong or have lived in Hong Kong, let us know down below what would happen to us. Guys and gals, I appreciate each and every single one of you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for letting me do what I do. 
And uh, I hope that you choose to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.